All right, guys, so welcome to part one of figuring out any type of pain that we have in the knees as we move. So we're gonna be going over a lot of awareness of how we recruit the quads to start and the hips. So this part one is gonna be focusing on the quad, the hip, and then touching a little bit into the glute and the back of the leg. But the second part of the series will focus more on the hamstring and the glute awareness. So the first thing that we're gonna do when we're starting to get pain in our knees is we're gonna figure out what's going on with our hip flexors, and what's going on with our quads. So the first thing we're gonna end up doing is getting into a straddle position like this. So I'm gonna pull the feet as wide as I can. And the first thing that I wanna notice while I'm doing this is do I notice a difference in the tightness of my groin? So for me, I wanna make sure I'm not shifted so I'm looking down. If this hip is pulled back, I'm gonna over exaggerate, but if this hip is pulled back, I need to shift that first. And I need to know that if I shift just sitting, I'm gonna shift while squatting. So, I'm here, my legs are in a straddle, and I wanna begin by squeezing my quads and sitting tall towards the front of my sit bone. So I notice that my right groin feels much tighter than my left groin does. This is gonna impact how I squat, so I probably recruit a lot of groin and pull in. So step number one, notice the groin difference. Our second step now is going to be engaging the quads, squeezing them as hard as we can, and while sitting nice and tall and arching our back, we're gonna think about pulling ourselves forward with our hip flexors here. I can use my hands for positional awareness if I need. So right now, as I'm pulling myself forward, I notice that my quads don't really feel the same while they're being recruited. On my left leg, I just feel my quad less, and on my right leg, I feel the outside of my quad more. When I feel the outside of my quad more, that can be a little bit more of like, maybe I have some like IT band discomfort on that side, a little bit of runner's knee. It's also interesting that I feel the outside of my quad turning on more with the inside of the groin that's also a lot tighter, and that's gonna be important to notice. Again, we're putting together the puzzle pieces of, I now know how can I squat normal or how can I run normal? How can I get rid of this pain at my knee if literally just sitting on the ground squeezing my quads, they don't feel the same and this side feels dramatically tight. So again, remember this video is about establishing an awareness of what's different. And then in the playlist of how to flex your dot, 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 that's more of actually going about then fixing the imbalances that we know. We can't fix what we don't know what's going on. This is figuring out what's going on so that way we can go to the playlist that's above of how to actually fix it. And I have individual videos in there and then I'll start to put series in there as well and similar to how this series is, how to find the imbalance before how to fix the imbalance. So again, we're talking about fixing the pain at the knee, it can be above or below. And now we've noticed the groin tension difference and the quad tension difference. What we're gonna do now, again, sitting nice and tall, I squeeze my quads, I'm gonna try and rotate my thighs out as much as I can, sitting as tall as I can. The first thing I notice, my left hip flexor turns on right away. It gets real tense. So I notice now my hip flexors do feel the same-ish, but I can feel my left one more. So I've had a tight right groin, an outside quad that fires more on the right, and then a hip flexor that turns on more on the left when I externally rotate. I'm also starting to notice a little bit of lower back tightness. Again, ask yourself that question. What do I feel while I'm flexing my quads, while I'm rotating my thighs out, and while I'm trying to sit tall? For me, this actually causes a lot of alleviation of that groin tightness I felt, and I start to feel my right glute more. Take notes on these types of things, because especially whatever you find, comment below, and I will tell you the specific exercise that I would suggest. Remember, this is community. We're trying to help each other here, so I want you to comment what you notice below, and I will gladly send you the things to do. So I'm squeezing my quads. I'm now gonna point my toes, really trying to drive everything out, and I'm just starting to notice, okay, my quad's starting to turn more on this side, and I'm also noticing a little bit of lower back tightness. Again, I think this is crazy. We've learned a lot about what's going on in our legs just from sitting in this straddle position, just from sitting in the straddle. This type of position, my thigh to my core, this is a flexed hip. This is also similar-ish to the position that we encounter when we're doing a deadlift, flexed hip, and also when we're doing a squat, except my knee is straight, flexed hip. So I'm here. Maybe I'll take a couple of deep breaths in to see what's going on. Exhale. Breathe in again. I exhale. And all I keep noticing is that my left leg wants to relax. It doesn't want to do anything. It doesn't want to stay on. My right leg's like, yo, I'm here for the party. Let's get it. My left leg just wants to keep turning off. This is also why I think I used to get so much left knee pain. My left quad wasn't doing anything. 
and my right leg and groin was doing a lot. And that's also why when I look at my legs, my right quad is bigger and it's something that I'm working on, but my knee pain has gone away dramatically since I started doing this position. Now this is an awareness-based piece, but also resting here has made a big dramatic difference in resolving my pain. So the last thing that I'm gonna have us do to notice difference specifically in the obliques in this position, because if I have a lot of tension on the side of my body, that's really gonna affect my ability to twist and also resist twisting. So that's to say if I'm squatting or deadlifting and one side's tighter, I'm gonna be pulling myself to that side and that's not great. So we flex the quads, we try and pull ourselves forward with those hip flexors, hand assistance is totally fine, the quads are on, the legs are rotated out, the toes are pointed, fire these bad boys up, and then now let's twist our torso to the right. And you can start to bow forward. And just notice, is it hard to keep this leg externally rotated? And do I notice any type of stretching or difficulty rotating anywhere along my sides or in my lower back? For me, it feels pretty easy to rotate to the side. I don't notice much. It does feel difficult to keep this leg from turning in though or from just relaxing at the quad. Let's just breathe here for a second. Okay, notice a little bit of tension in the abdomen there. And now I'm gonna to rotate to the left, same thing. So this side, I feel my leg turning on a lot more to keep this rotated out. And I feel a little bit more restricted in my spine on my lower back, being able to rotate to the left. So I feel a little bit more of a stretch and almost like my back needs to crack a little bit. If I bow forward, that feeling intensifies even more. And this leg feels about the same amount of difficult rotating in or preventing rotating in as my left leg. So I breathe in. I feel that same big stretch on the right side that I did when I was twisted that way. And again, this left quad keeps wanting to turn off. So let's recap what we noticed today. And again, I want you to take note in what you noticed, write it down, start to explore making them feel even, check out the how to flex your playlist and start to hit the muscles with exercises that felt different or stretching those positions. And then we'll talk more about this series of again, how to find the imbalance and then beginning how to fix it. So. The quick recap again, comment what you noticed below. I noticed that my right groin was tighter. I noticed that my left leg was constantly turning off and that when my left and right hip flexor would fire was not the same. They would not fire together. The right one would turn on way easier and I had to be in a really specific focused position to turn my left one on. And when I would really rotate my right leg out, a lot of groin tightness would go away. My glute would turn on and my lower back wouldn't feel as stiff. So I know that externally rotating my right leg, maybe driving my knee out when I squat was helping. I also noticed that I was kind of, again, easier to rotate to the right, really tight when I went to the left. So I probably have some type of shift going on when I squat. I say probably, I know I, I personally do and I know that it's from this, right? But I'm kind of giving you cues on what you should try and look for. And so I noticed that the main thing that I would try if because the main thing that kept coming back was my quad wasn't turning on, I would do one of my exercises to really try and light up my left quad and to try and get both hip flexors to turn on. So I'll link two videos. One is going to be the banded hip flexor tuck to really get both of those hip flexors lit up. Watch and make sure you have that awareness. I describe what you should feel. And then I would do some type of tempo squat, maybe a wall sit or a single leg wall sit. I'll link that up above to really get this quad to fire on and be aware if I'm feeling any imbalances. So again, I hope you found this helpful. Please comment below what you notice. I'll send you things that you should try. We'll get a conversation going. And don't, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you found this helpful and I'll continue to make more videos based on what you guys need around this. Hey, let's figure out what our imbalances are. And if you haven't watched the first video for the imbalances about what this is about, go ahead and go back and check that out as well. Talk to you guys next time.